The year is 2021. The entire human race is battling an invisible enemy that has wreaked global havoc. A tycoon called Elon is on a mission to inhabit Mars. And whilst we still aren't travelling around on hoverboards like Marty McFly, we are using artificial intelligence to improve our everyday life. Even our YouTube content, which is why in this video I'm going to show you how you can use AI to help create your YouTube videos without having to become an evil genius with an army of robots. If this is your first time to my channel, I help content creators maximise their impact and income by simplifying tech and proven strategies. If that sounds like your cup of tea, then smash the subscribe button. Now let's jump straight into it and see how AI could help you. When it comes to YouTube content, time is of the essence. And what I mean by that is people want life-changing information and they want it fast. In an on-demand world, we lack the patience for chit-chat and fluff. We want the cold hard facts and in the quickest and clearest way possible. That's why it's important to have a structure to your videos. It helps paint the picture of what your video is about and also tells your viewer why they should keep watching. So before we step into that DeLorean and go all futuristic, let's just agree that your video, just like your favourite football team, needs a winning formation. Now this can vary, there's no set standard and often the best way to learn what works is to look at the leaders in your niche. How do they present their videos? Most of the time it will go something a little bit like this. A hook. We open with a hook. Something to stop you in your tracks, grab your attention and make you watch the video. An intro. This part's optional. A lot of YouTubers are choosing to drop this bit, but it can be an effective way of qualifying who you are and why people should subscribe. The tell. Yep, this is the bit where we tell the viewer what we're going to tell them. The meat and potatoes. This is the main content. It's what you promise to show them. And often, it's best breaking down into manageable chunks like steps or lists. The summary. And yes, you guessed it. Tell them what you just told them. The outro. Keep this short and sweet and try and leave a call to action or a CTA. Such as watch the next video for more tips. So now we have our structure. We want to write our YouTube video script. Now some people like to just write bullet points and an outline and then freestyle their content. Others, like me, write the entire script. What you choose to do is entirely what works best for you. Now I'm going to make the assumption that you've done your research, you've got an idea of what your video is going to be about and you've got a rough outline. For the purpose of this video, let's make something up. Let's pretend that we're going to be creating a video about how to be happy. I'd carry out my research with that title in mind, I'd make some bullet points and then I'd write a script using the outline that we discussed previously. But there's a few problems when you do this, I want to explain why. Firstly, it can take a lot of time, especially when you're writing full scripts. Secondly, I'm not a trained copywriter, so is the language that I use effective enough to grow my channel? Thirdly, I don't want to pay someone to write my scripts, that would be really expensive, plus I want to learn and get better myself. So the question is, is there any way that we can create high quality content in less time and without breaking the bank? Well, maybe there is. Welcome to the future, my friend. Conversion.ai is a piece of fancy pants software that I've been testing over the last few weeks. It uses artificial intelligence to help with your copywriting, such as scripts, outlines, video titles, and I found it really useful for YouTube and also blogging especially. Now I'm not going to go deep into the technology it uses as frankly my head will explode after about 34 seconds if I try and explain it. But in a nutshell, the creators of Conversion.ai have plugged it into GPT-3, which is a gigantic neural network that uses deep learning to produce human-like text. Or even simpler, it uses AI to help you write better content. Now, first thing I want to make clear, I was really sceptical when I saw this software and I hold my hands up, I've been pleasantly surprised by how good it can actually be. Secondly, this isn't a review. If you want a full review, then jump into my blog at the end of this video. All the details are revealed there, the good parts, the bad parts. I'll put a link in the description. What I do want to show you though is how conversion.ai can help you with your scripting and your YouTube content. So let's jump into it and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So I'm just going to give you a quick demo of conversion.ai. Now I've just logged in, if you want the links to this software I'm going to put the links in the description where you're also going to get some free credits if you sign up using that link. 
Now there's a number of templates in here that we can use for different scenarios. There's tons and tons and tons of them as you can see if I just scroll down. We've got some video ones, we've got some Amazon products, Google My Business, there's literally every everything you can think of, they're pretty much adding it into here. The company behind Conversion.ai are developing fast and constantly releasing new features. Now as you can see from the menu at the top, there's actually some video only ones, but that doesn't mean that they're the only ones that we would use as a YouTuber. There's actually tons of different ones that could be relevant as well, such as these ADA framework and PASS framework, for example, a lot of successful content creators will use these simple copywriting formulas. If you go check out any review and you'll find that many of the leading ones all focus on pain points, prodding and poking and agitating the viewer or reader, then offering them a solution. The fact is, it works. But maybe you're like me and you've built a career in something the absolute opposite to marketing. Well, don't worry because these simple scripts can help you. So what we're going to do is we're just going to jump in and test some of these scripts and we're going to use that example that we talked about before. We're going to pretend that we've got a YouTube channel that helps people be happier. So let's start with this PAS framework, Problem Agitate Solution. Now as you can see I've just pre-filled some of this in already. So what you do with Conversion.ai is you click on one of the templates, you put in some input data. Now it tells you on the side how many characters you can use, so you can see there 52 out of 400. One thing I would point out is Conversion.ai isn't a push button miracle worker. It doesn't just take a couple of words and give you everything that you need. You've got to kind of work with it. It's, it's almost the output that you get is as good as the input that you put into it as well. So the better the detail you can put in, the better the detail you'll get out. So you can see here, we've just put company name. This is our fake YouTube channel. And we create videos that help show you how to live a happier life. Tone of voice, there's loads of different ones that you can put in there. I'm just going to go with calm, but put in whatever you want. At the bottom, you've got an output. Now, this is how many suggestions you want it to make. But the way conversion.ai works is that if you're on a standard plan, you get so many credits that you can use each month. In other words, the number of words generated. They do have an unlimited plan, so if you don't want to worry about using it too much and going out of running out of credits, then you can sign up for the unlimited plan. It's a little bit more expensive, but you can use it to your heart's content. Once we've got them inputs in, let's hit generate AI content. Now, as you can see on the right hand side, it's now give us some samples. So it's give us a couple of examples, depending on how many outputs that we have. And what we can do is we can go through and we can kind of pick out the best ones, the bits that we like the most. So you can see there, problem, agitate, solution. Now it could be that sometimes you've got absolute nonsense in here, sometimes you've got to change the inputs and tweak them a little bit, or it could be that you like a little bit of this one, but it would go better with a little bit of this one. That's the whole point, is there is an assistant to help you and to kind of uh, work with you to pick out the best bits. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna narrow it down to some of these video ones. So video topic ideas. So we're just going to put a couple of inputs in there. I'm going to leave tone of voice empty so it can just give us some automated suggestions. And this is just giving us some video topic ideas. So this gives you something you can look at. You can maybe choose to elaborate on that or it could, it could give, be a starting point for one of your videos. So anything with numbers in is usually pretty good on YouTube. YouTube loves numbers in the titles. So there you go, top 10 reasons to be happy. What does it take to achieve happiness? So there's a couple of rubbish ones in there and there's a couple that I'd actually go with as well. Let's check out another template. Let's try this video script outline. So the title of the topic. Let's see what it comes up with. So what this is doing is it's actually giving you some suggestions in a video script outline with five reasons to be happy and it's literally giving you five bullet points. So you can keep generating AI content, pick through, you might get some good suggestions, you might already have a few in mind anyway. But yeah, I'd say reasons to be happy, there's some pretty good ones in there. A roof over your head and food to eat, not a bad reason to be happy is it? Video titles, let's try it again. Now it depends how you create videos on YouTube. A lot of the time I use video titles that are actually key phrases that people are searching for. But if you wanna be a bit more original or you're looking for some suggestions, then again, the video titles template does help. I like ones like this, nine tips to have a happier day every day. Top five reasons to smile in the morning. Five things that will make us feel better about life. There's some really good suggestions in there. So have a think whether this would work for your niche too. 
Next up, we're going to have a look at the video script hook and introduction. Now, the opening of your video is one of the most important parts. Your YouTube channel relies on people watching it for as long as possible. That is how growth happens. So let's see what this comes up with. Now, what I should have done was copied some of them suggestions that we just had in the title. So let, let's jump back to them and get some. Let's just give that a try, see what it comes up with. So the actual software that conversion.ai uses, they, they call it Jarvis. So it's a little bit of a play, I think, on the uh, Jarvis out of the Avengers. You've got to remember, this is just a really clever way of using AI, which I'm seeing lots of software companies starting up at the moment with similar kind of products, but this one's focused on copywriting. So let's see what it's come, come up with. Now a hook, if you don't know, a hook is what's supposed to stop people in the tracks. It's supposed to make them want to watch the video. So let's see if these hooks are any good. In this video, I'm going to show you the top five reasons why it's important to smile in the morning. It'll help start your day off with a positive attitude and just feel great overall. Now, I like the start of it. I'm not too sure about the uh, the second part. Oh, it's this one. So the second one, did you know that smiling in the morning can actually change your mood and make you feel happier through the day? Well, I'd hope most people did know that. In this video, I'm going to show you top five reasons why it's important for you to smile in the morning. Hey, my name is John Davis. I want to share with you some of the best benefits that come from smiling during your day. You can make a huge difference in how you feel about yourself and those around us. So let me show you five great reasons why it's so important that we start our day off with a smile. I actually think that's pretty good. I quite like that. I mean, I'm not sure if there's many YouTube channels out there that are dedicated to just being happy, but if there are, good luck to them. Last one's video description, which well, a lot of people don't even bother with a video description, to be honest. So let's just see what it comes up with. Again, we put our inputs in, we whack the blue button to generate content, and we see what Jarvis comes back with. So this probably depends on how much you've used Jarvis for the other content that you've put in there as well. So then a completely different description is not really going to match. But again, it's giving you some good suggestions in there. Um, it's up to you. Description is probably the one I'd use the least. Now, if we go back to the dashboard, like I say, I wouldn't just rely on these video ones. If you're a YouTuber, these aren't the only ones that you can use. There are tons. That Ada framework and Pass framework are really good. I actually like the blog post um, introduction paragraph as well. That's pretty good. Content Improver is a more general one. So in here, we just type in any kind of content we've got, and it'll try and elaborate on it. So if you script your videos, this is a good way of doing it. So let's try something that I would maybe put in. Let's try a different tone of voice as well and see what it comes back with. So I like that. One of them's again, not really relevant, but I like the middle one. There's stuff in there that I could use. So that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. So in conclusion, can this software or any of the alternatives out there help you with your YouTube content? Look, software like conversion.ai is in its infancy still. It isn't perfect. You can't press a button and automate everything in one click. And personally, I wouldn't want that anyway. We'd all become mindless content zombies, but it can be a great tool to work with you. Like an assistant that's there to improve your content and the way that you engage with your audience. I tested it and didn't expect to use it beyond the free trial, but I was pleasantly surprised. And I'll be keeping it. I found it really useful for some of my content needs and I look forward to seeing how they improve it in the future. If you'd also like to check it out and maybe trial it for a few days absolutely free, then drop into the description. I'm going to leave all the relevant links in there. And make sure you come back to this video and leave me a comment and let me know what you think. How did you find it? What was good? What was bad? I'm going to see you on the next video. Thank you.